When the sloshers were introduced to Splatoon, they were simple weapons, buckets of paint that simply existed to be flung. This power could be increased by damage up and to great effect and the sloshers would do well. However, one slosher would stand out from this formula. The sloshing machine was more than just a bucket. Its shots had an arc to them and traveled slowly throughout the air with a far lower range than the normal slosher. This arc could two-shot, but unlike the normal sloshers, this two-shot range couldn't be significantly increased with damage up. Despite these drawbacks, it became one of the most powerful weapons in Splatoon 3. So how did it become so powerful, and why is its top-tier position one of the most deserved in the entire game? The sloshing machine was not very powerful in the original Splatoon. While pretty similar to the counterparts in other games, many weapons in Splatoon were very overtuned. Most famously, the Dynamo Roller in E-Leader 3K. While useful in 1v1s, many weapons could just outplay the sloshing machine and little could be done about it. As this DPS is quite low, Kraken had an easy time taking down sloshing machines as their only option was to run. Bubblers also had an easier time getting sloshing machines for this reason. While the machine is similar to a blaster in functionality, it does significantly less damage, and as such, its knockback to the specials is more limited. It also suffered during the late game quick respawn meta. It couldn't utilize quick respawn super well, and didn't have an invincibility special to capitalize on their power. It wasn't ever necessarily a bad weapon, just not fit for any of Splatoon's metas. Its best kit was a standard one with Splat Bomb and Bomb Rush. While it fit a decent niche, it just couldn't live up to what the other weapons could do. To rectify this, in version 2.7.0, special gauge reduction was reduced to 40% upon being splatted, and movement speed while firing was increased by 11% in 2.8.0. These were pretty minimal changes in Splatoon 1, and overall had little effect. As all the problems ailing sloshing machine no longer existed, those previous buffs were reverted. Instead, new problems took root. Sloshing machine was always a slower weapon, and ten of missiles preyed on those slower moving, slow reacting weapons. Furthermore, there is much more movement potential in 2, which hurt slower firing weapons as they are now much more risky to use as their shots had a greater chance to be dodged. While these issues are a major problem, they were not nearly as oppressive as the issues in the original game, and Sloshing Machine became a far better pick early game. Even better, Sloshing Machine was blessed with Stingray, which is one of the most powerful specials in 2. It was similar in use of Tenna Missiles, and the machine was decent at getting Rays out. Autobahn was an okay sub, but didn't do too much for the machine. Nintendo would catch on to the abilities of the machine, and in 1.4.0, increase points per special by 20 points and decrease the inking of the sloshing machine. These changes made its special far more difficult to come by and were pretty big nerfs. The machine would be mostly ignored and unused until the Kensa collection released, and with it, the Kensa sloshing machine. This is the first time a machine got its now iconic fizzy bomb and all hell broke loose. While Splashdown is pretty useless, last ditch effort was incredible on the machine. It was able to continue sloshing over and over and over again, and its fizzy bomb served multiple purposes. It could be used for quick movement to displace an enemy, to get picks, to chip damage, or to support a teammate in a fight. It was a true beast of a kit, and it would make itself into the meta. Overall, it was very healthy for the game. In a time where shooters were the near-exclusive meta, it was a nice change of pace, and it offered a unique playstyle that was captivating with a high skill ceiling. It is what I consider to be the ideal of the sloshing machine's balance. The sloshing machine became meta during Splatoon 3 for two reasons. It was a good counter to Crab, and it had a special. Booyah Bomb was an actually useful special that could have a legitimate impact on the game instead of Splashdown's pretty useless nature. The addition of a workable special to the Kensa kit made the kit even better and certainly a top tier. Even better, the curved shots were really good at taking down Crab Tank, the strongest special in the game. Though just as dominant as the Splash, there is generally less hate for it for a few reasons. Firstly, it took much more skill to use. Shots were slower, and sloshes would have to be taken in a surprise blitz pattern, or in a predictive pattern, preparing for where the enemy is going to be. This led to it being healthier, as anybody could pick up a splash, laser others, and become a Hydra without all the negatives of being a Hydra. Secondly, the sloshing machine still had flaws. The splash o doesn't have any particular flaws, just things it could do better at. 
However, the sloshing machine still had abysmal ink consumption and its shots were still slow, even though players moved faster now. There's a reason why the Splatoon 3 meta was named Crab Meta and not Machine Meta. Crab Tank and splash o -Matic were the prime feature that almost everybody could agree was a problem. Well, ideally, no weapon should ever be dominant, if I had to choose one weapon to be better than others, the sloshing machine would go high on that list due to its flaws built into the design and the high skill ceiling while using it. The sloshing machine's run would come to an end though with update 2.1.0. This patch would take the points for special from 200 to 210 and give it 10% increased in consumption. With this, the flaws were too much to bear and it broke from being a top tier. This was really weird coming from a patch clearly aimed at stopping Crab Tank. Furthermore, most weapons to counter Crab Tank and specifically splash o were shooters, which worried many that the shooter primacy from Splatoon 2 would return. Overall though, Splatoon 3 is far more balanced than 2 ever was, and Crab Tank makes for a far better dominant special than Tenna Missiles. While this interesting period of the machine in Splatoon 3's history will likely never return, it doesn't mean total disaster, but I do believe that the game is worse off because of it. Finally, I just wanted to really thank everybody for 1,000 subscribers. Just, I, I don't, I don't have the words, really. I don't have the words to explain, just like, y yes, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.